Joe Biden ran on stopping COVID-19, providing key economic relief and building back better. He promised to go big, to launch a massive effort to end this pandemic, and he won. He won, and this is his bill. This is our bill, the American Rescue Plan. This is the big response our country is asking for, not to go small or to undermine this effort like we see with the host of amendments we will see over the course of the next day or so. We are in crisis. The American people get it. Do you? I keep hearing stories about those who've lost folks, those who are sick or unemployed, who have lost their small businesses. I keep hearing about closed schools, small businesses hanging on by a thread and families just struggling to make it. And I hear stories about vaccine shortages, folks waiting for appointments. We have these similar tragic stories playing out every day in our district too. So I agree, we have to do something about it. The American Rescue Plan will address these issues facing all of our constituents, yours and mine. But just so we're clear, I've showed up to vote for this bill and you've showed up to vote against relief for them, to vote against relief for your constituents. So what are you talking about? Using stories to justify denying relief makes no sense. The arguments make no sense and the American people know it. That's why 70% of them support the American Rescue Act that we're voting on. And we learned a valuable lesson from the Great Recession. We negotiated, we made concessions in good faith, and what happened? We still had a bill where most of the other side of the aisle voted against it. This was a critical error. The lesson of history is that the American Investment Act, Reinvestment Act was too small. The Great Recession lasted 18 months, and it was the longest period of economic decline since World War II. In Florida, we suffered a housing market collapse and our economy didn't back, bounce back till 2012, four years later. Untold misery occurred during that period of time. And so we're not fiddling around anymore on these issues. We have a time sensitive, both pandemic and economic crisis to deal with. That's what we're here to discuss today. We ask everyone to join us and soon you'll get the choice today, one way or another. Either way, we prosper promised the American people we would go big. We'd crush the pandemic and save lives and livelihoods. And with this vote today or tomorrow, we will. Thank you, Chairman. I yield back.